favourite, four dollars twenty into three dollars ten with tab fixed odds, and it's the clear favourite. Yorana Jasmine four dollars into three dollars forty is Sky Racing one. Jump on board for the penultimate here at the Meadows tonight. Barry Bale, as we just mentioned on Sky Active, three fifty and has gone out to four dollars eighty now. Continues to drift. Go seek Reese five out to six fifty. And ethanol unleaded, seven fifty. Touch ten dollars now back into seven fifty as they start to head to the boxes. Corey Smith, firstly from you, for those viewers on Sky Racing One now, which direction were you looking in here? Uh, I've got Barry Bale on top in this one. I'm not 100% sure where he's going to get to at the first bend, but if he can get through it unscathed, then he's going to be really hard to beat. He's my on-top selection. Then I'm going for a little bit of value in the rest of my numbers with Edgar Clogg, who I think is a really nice place bet. Uh, it's going to finish top three, in my opinion, and I'll also have uh, Ethanol Unleaded in there and Oregon Favors, the favourite in for fourth. So my numbers, six, four, one and eight. Patch? I'm with Barry Bale. I'm with Baz. And look, this isn't... One of the deepest races on the card, clearly. But the way he performed at Horsham last start was quite good. 27-19, we know he's getting down towards a bracket, which is quite impressive. And that was the best time on the program. So he's still coming through the ranks. Of course, all these greyhounds still in restricted wing company. And hopefully, from our point of view, he can break through tonight and establish himself into grey fly class. I'll give Baz strength. He's on the third line of betting. $4.80 out from three fifty. The favourite is Oregon Favours. $4.20 into that $3.10 quote. Not too much movement. Super late in betting. We're right on start time, though, here for the penultimate on what's been a fantastic night of chasing and setting up a mouth-watering finale for the Australian Cup Carnival here at the Meadows. That is next week. The field has been finalised and we'll get the box draw through in the next couple of days for that race as well. So they're about to move into the boxes. Race 11, good luck with your investments. Let's get you upstairs to Dan Hibbard. $6 go seek race. It was third here to shake and bake last time out. Getting set for race number 11. The Cook's Electrical and Air Conditioning Mix 6-7. Favourite, the pink just ahead of the black. They both had good support on fixed odds. Everything else has eased slightly in the market. The green light is turned on and the lure's on the roll. Race number 11, they're set to go. Racing, slow to go was Edgar Cloggs. Flying out was Yorana Jasmine and led, but Oregon Favours sailed over along with it. Getting turned sideways was Barry Bale. Back to last with Edgar Cloggs and Cabello Jasper. It's Oregon Favours, the leader. Three in front of Yorana Jasmine. They're four clear on ethanol, unleaded, and go seek Reese. And then a gap to the others, Cabello uh, Jasper and Barry Bale. But on the swing, Oregon Favours has been well backed on fixed odds, and the punters will collect. Oregon Favours, three lengths. On Yorana Jasmine, Go Seek Reese and Ethanol Unleaded. Cabello Jasper next. Barry Bale didn't have any luck, neither did Edgar Cloggs after a slow start. 30.06 is the run. And Oregon favours the favourite home, 480 and 150. Yorana Jasmine, $2.60 and no third for Go Seek Reese in race number 11. 8, 7, and 2. The numbers here with one more to come from the Meadows. And boys, it was pretty easy watch there for favourite punters. Yeah, it was indeed, Dan. Oregon favours and sort of taken plenty of steps in his past couple of runs because his form prior to that didn't necessarily suggest that he was a type to uh, had the capability to run of a time of around 30 seconds flat, but he's been able to do that tonight. And if that's the norm for him going forward, he'll be well and truly ahead of this company. Smithy, what did you make of that? Yeah, it was an intriguing race. I, I think the head-on was really telling. The the greyhound drawn in box number three uh, really wanted off the track in Cabal Jasper, uh, Jasper and it kind of caused a little bit of mayhem and they, they were, I know they're greyhounds that are young but they're and they're still learning but they didn't exactly, it looked like they were drawn upside down essentially in this race and the, the toughness of the two daily dogs in the eight and the seven, they just scooted around the outside and got the job done in, in pretty impressive fashion. And Baz just couldn't get into the race at all there by the looks of it. No, he couldn't. He, uh, he got squeezed up early and was just shot out the back uh, and, and he took no further part in the race. But, uh, yeah, he, he w was a little bit unlucky. I think he can still follow him. I think he'll still be winning races moving forward. But box number six on a night like this may be a little bit tougher. Yeah, he got cleaned up at the start there, Baz, and I'm not sure Barry Hall would be standing for that, unlike uh, this boy here tonight. <laughs> so, uh, you're right, Smith. He looks to be a handy type. He's a nice-looking dog as well. And... Yeah, without doubt, he's got a city race winning. So the numbers 8, 